Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at which fraction is bigger. So without further ado, let's get started. So when we look at question one, we've got three fifths or two thirds, and we need to figure out which of these fractions is bigger. Now, the best way to do that is to make sure that our denominators are the same numbers. So what we have to do in this case is we've got to figure out what's the lowest common multiple between three and five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down all the multiples of three. So I've got three, six, nine, 12, 15. And then I'm going to write down multiples of five. I've got five, 10, 15, 20, and I probably could keep going on. And from here, I can see that the lowest common multiple is actually 15. So what I need to do is I need to convert three fifths I need to convert it with a denominator of 15 and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to convert two thirds with 15 as the denominator and what you'll notice is that to get from 5 to 15 I'm actually multiplying by 3 so I've got to do the same for the numerator and when I do this I get 9 over 15 and as for the two thirds I'm actually doing 3 times 5 and to get the 15 and so I've got to do 2 times 5 for the numerator and when I do that I get 10 over 15 and as you can see the bigger one between 9 over 15 and 10 over 15 is 10 over 15 and because 10 over 15 is bigger we can say that 2 thirds is the bigger fraction so let's try uh, question number 2 we've got 4 over 7 or 5 over 8 now you might be wondering, well, do I need to work out a lowest common multiple or can I just do cross multiplication? Well, of course you can do cross multiplication. Um, and if you do do cross multiplication, then what happens is that you still figure out which fraction is bigger. But when you're actually dealing with adding fractions, it's always or like later on when you're adding fractions and subtracting fractions, it's better to find the lowest common multiple. So let me show you the other method, all right? So if I was to do four over seven or five over eight, what I'm gonna do here is I'm simply gonna multiply the denominator by eight and the numerator by eight. And as for the five over eight, I'm gonna multiply the denominator by seven and also the numerator by seven. And by doing this, I've got four times eight, which is 32 over seven times eight, which is 56. Or if I was to do, let me just rewrite that. So I'm gonna write down four times eight is 32, seven times eight is 56, or five times seven is 35, and then eight times seven is 56. Now, I know that 35 is bigger than 32, so this fraction here is bigger. So it's actually five over eight. Now looking at the last one, you might be thinking, yes, I can actually do the whole um, multiply 10 with 12 and multiply 12 with 10. But I also know the lowest common multiple between 10 and 12 is actually 60. Uh, by the way, if you do have this particular calculator, what you can do is uh, you can actually click on home button and click on the calculate menu. And in here you can go into catalog, go down to numeric calculations, and there's LCM right there. So you can actually put an LCM and we're gonna put LCM between 10 and 12. Now there's a comma right there. So you've gotta go shift and the right bracket. That's gonna give you a comma. And then we can put in 12. And as you can see, the lowest common multiple between 10 and 12 is 60. So if that's the case, then what we can do is I'm just gonna put a red line here. I've got seven over 10 that I want to convert to 60 and I've got 9 over 12 which I also want to convert to 60 now I know that 10 times 6 is 60 7 times 6 is 42 Let's write that in blue there and I can do the same 12 times 5 is 60 9 times 5 is going to be 45 and yet again we've got 45 over 60 that's the big fraction compared to 42 over 60. So in this case, we can also say nine over 12 is bigger than seven over 10. So that's just a quick little example to show you how to figure out which fraction is 
bigger. If you do have a calculator, there is a quick way to actually uh, kind of do this as well. If you do have a calculator, by the way. Um, so all you need to do is you just need to go two thirds minus, I'm going to look at that first example, right? If I do two thirds, so I'm going to do two over three, and I go two thirds minus three fifths. Now, if I get a positive number, then two thirds is bigger. If I get a negative number, then two thirds is smaller. Um, and I'm going to get positive number here. So it's one over 15. So that's how I know two thirds is bigger. That's just another little quick little um, hack to kind of show you folks how to do it on the calculator as well. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.